Now what? Because once you hit a certain point, your general pet dogs that come from your clientele generally, not all the time, but generally don't remain competitive. Right. And that um, is kind of a hot topic. A lot of people ask me that, well, you know, mm -hmm. why do I have to have a show dog? Why do I have mm -hmm. to, you know, have a dog from a breeder? You don't have to. I mean, you can get some really nice client dogs, and sometimes we do. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, one of the dogs that I compete with, Zoe, she is a pet client dog. Right. Um, and but, that should be Sean, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of those <clears throat> things. If you want to progress to the next level, you need to start doing your homework and kind of networking with breeders, find out who's in your area. Um, because a lot of the people in A Division, we do have dogs from breeders. We've bought dogs mm -hmm. for ourselves, but... People just don't hand them to us. Right. We have to go to dog shows. We have to say, hi, my name's Lindsay. You know, I groom. Would you mind if I came to your house sometime, groom some dogs for you? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to establish a, um, a relationship with the breeder or the handler. Right. And just, you know, all they can say is no. So just throw it out there and ask. And you're going to have to probably wash a lot of free dogs. You're going to have to go and you're going to have to groom a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. But...